Welcome to the Uncommon Transformation Television Series. It is interesting to mention that with barely three months and a fraction left for Governor Goswila Pabio to leave office, his administration has not shown any sign of slowing down the pace of development in Akwaibom State. For instance, many road construction and expansion are still going on. One notable project in this mold is the ongoing expansion of Brook Street and flood control work in progress. This has brought circa to residents as they look forward to live their lives without fear of flash floods with the rains fast approaching. Another policy of the Akpabi administration that has won him accolades within and outside the country is the policy of free and compulsory education which has been described as a master stroke. It has turned around the fortunes of many Akwaibum youngsters and boosted their psyche among her peers within the Nigerian polity. On the heel of these developments is the policy of road infrastructure. The implementation of this policy to the benefit of our people has been carried out in such a manner that it has attracted international attention, improved the overall aesthetics of Akwaibom State, and changed its shape and content. The execution of these road projects has left many impressed as the approach is almost a lien to governments in Nigeria. For everything you've always wanted to know about Akwaibom State, the highlights of the uncommon transformation in information about government ministries, departments and agencies, programs and policies of the state government, multimedia resources about a Kwaibum state, political structure, the history, the geography, the economy, the people, the culture, the opportunities. Visit our rebranded website www.akwaibumstate.gov.ng. Akwaibum State online. Real time 247. The government and the good people of Akwaibom State are never tired of talking about their good and enviable road infrastructure and network, which they have aptly described as a right of way, for they are the gateway through which goods and services are delivered from one location to another. We are now opening up new areas for people to go and build houses, new areas for people to build facilities and for people to have offices. So this is essential for the kind of thing I'm looking at. And then, the, of course, the totally diverse traffic from the town centre so that the, what we are doing is futuristic, so that we don't end up choking uh, the, the urban centre as the town progresses. While the government has for the past seven years constructed about 400 roads with a combined mileage of about 1,500 kilometres across the three senatorial districts, over 28 bridges connecting communities that were cut off from each other for many decades on account of broken bridges. It has also renovated many more roads, especially in the remote rural areas, to ease the evacuation of farm produce to the city centers, boosting the food production distribution chain in the state. And one of the key things that he did was to move in on road refurbishing road reconstruction and that was because the road network and infrastructure was very poor poor 
in the sense that the access to places had broken down. Huge craters of failed portions, because those ones are not potholes. Those ones are failed portions. So huge craters full of water, um, potholes littering everywhere. And then inter-local government roads were not pliable because of the same failed nature. It is heartwarming to know that while the city centers of Ikodekwane, Ibiona, Eket, Etin, and Anoron, and there are many suburbs, are receiving equal and maximum attention from the government in their road networking, the state capital Uyo has not been forgotten in the scheme of things. In fact, during the town hall meetings across the 10 federal constituencies, Governor Pabio did say, because of the strategic place of Uyo as the state capital, its infrastructure development will always be top priority. Little wonder Uyo is brimming with fantastic road network. In recent times, the good people of the state have witnessed Akar Numudu transformed from its one-lane thoroughfare to a dualized highway with street lights. Aran Road has also been extended all the way to the Bum International Airport. The dualization from Uyo all the way to Ikadekbene is ongoing. A coming man through Iduro to Itam Junction with its concentric flyovers, as well as Ikot Okui Kono dualization with a suspended bridge, have all been completed. Some sections of the Third Ring Road have been completed and put to use, as can be seen from the fourth flyover in the front of the Federal Secretariat, leading all the way to Akwaibom International Stadium. Let, let me say frankly that we had, we had nothing whatsoever to talk about. Economic development, social integration, whatever was nil. We had to go on footpaths. We had to climb the hills, descend the valleys, and it was actually very, very difficult. It was too bad. We couldn't, it was not a motorist by then time. No motor can enter except you trek. But later they repaired the road for us. And the government has done well. I give them a, a round of applause for doing that. <laughs> it's very good that we have benefited from the uncommon transformation of His Excellency and we are very, very grateful to him. I feel very, very happy to be to come from a quiet home state and to have a governor who has impacted positively on the lives of his own people. I uh, can tell you that um, this is one of the best anywhere in this country. Akwabio is doing a great work. There is no place you will see beautiful things like this. Just the road marking, you can see a standard route. You can see these roads, you can't even find them in Abuja. These are roads you see abroad. Other major parts of the metropolis with high density population, such as Asongoma Estate, a wet housing estate, as well as Shelter Afrique, are also experiencing a burst of new roads to ease movement of goods and services, as well as human and vehicular traffic. A wet housing is so large that over the years a substantial part of its road network was left unconstructed and would take concerted effort to get it all done. 
trust the government of Governor Apabio that never shies away from doing what is right. It's trying very hard to get the roads in the estate 100% tarred, like road construction is going out of fashion. This is at Papan Umoren Street in a wet housing estate. According to residents, this beautifully tarred road was no better than a bush track before the bulldozers of transformation came in. This road was a bush track where people go to get feed for their goats. But now, I thank God everything has changed. We are grateful to God for giving us Governor God's will. About 10 years ago when I came in this street, it wasn't like this, but within a few hours, some few minutes, just a year, in the middle of a year, uh, just a common transformation in this road, and the road is very clear, and people are just thanking our good governor for walk, making it possible, walking in, making everything great. And I'm, I'm very much happy, like before, when I came in, when I dropped, maybe at a, a tree cycle, I would just straight that, but now I'm very much happy that I can walk, no water on the street, I can just, just I can walk from Taro to my house, no water, no, no, no need of folding my uh, trousers again, I'm much happy, and I want to thank our governor for making it great, I appreciate him very well. It's really a lot, because the road was, the road was like a bush tract, so now, as the road is a, they make the road fine. There will be access road that will be linking into the housing. It affects a lot of them because during rainy time, people, even kicking up people, will be afraid to enter the road due to the condition of the road. So now, even at night, people will take you in without complaining. Uh, as you all said, formerly they weren't tired, but right now, um, because of the uncom uh, uncommon transformation of. Uh, his Excellency, the Governor of Akwaibom said in the person of Governor Gospel Akwaibio, all the adjoining streets in a wet housing have been tarred, uh, well tarred, you know, we can now move to our houses with ease, you know, no, no, no uh, gallop, no, nothing, understand, the straight road. So we are proud of the Governor. It was exciting as well as revealing time when Uncommon Transformation Crew got to Akpanandem and Uwana Streets. A lady resident was so excited about the newly tired roads that she burst out singing a special composition to the chief executive, thanking him for remembering them in the area. Umbrella, under the umbrella of PDP, boosts a free education, seven points agenda, under the umbrella of PDP, boosts a... She sheds light on why she is so happy. Ten years, I have lived in this Uwana street. We've been suffering from water, bad roads. But today, we have seen with our two naked eyes. We are very, very happy, very grateful to God for giving him, giving him that opportunity for him to have love for we, the people living in Uyo, in Uwana street. So. I've been trying one way or the other for me to see him. I normally see him in television. When I, when, when I go to occasion, I see him. I want to go and touch him. The security blocked me. But I thank God for what God has done. He's a man. We are proud to have him in these states. I really appreciate what the, our governor has done because um, the road here, the man really tried because I, I don't even know that. I don't even think that anybody can even do anything concerning this road. The, it is worthy of mention that drainages are also being constructed for the evacuation of storm water during rainfalls. This is of course to ensure that the roads have a longer lifespan to serve the people better and also serve the state funds. A DEA street is one of the remotest part of the estate. On account of the bad roads into the area before now, property owners developed apathy to developing property there. But all that has changed as the road has newly been constructed. As can be seen, there is a flurry of activities as new buildings are springing up. From G-Line to F-Line, F-Line extension leading all the way to H, 
Etmekbuyo to Joseph Ipat Street, there are clusters of new roads being constructed to give residents a new lease of life. Construction workers can also be seen happily doing their work. Well, it's so good because formerly housing was not like this before. So now if you enter some certain area in this housing, you know that you can drive your car without any gallop or anything problem. You can send someone message, then you, you go there direct and come very early. Without for you calling out, where, where are you, where are you, where are you? Say I'm the, the other lane or the other road. Now everything, road construction company, we thank God so much for them because the job is successful. Before there was a, when rainfall, everywhere flood, everywhere. But now, if rain flood, if rainfall now, if you come to housing, it will just look as they, there was nothing happened. There was no rain because everywhere drainage water would channel from here to some part of the area. So place, the place is very neat. The place is okay. Residents can take a walk or drive or even go riding on bikes without thoughts of marshy roads. That was the lot of the area before now. So, what do you know about this road? We say this road they very bad before. Even if you walk like this, now accidents, road corner corner, anyhow. So, now so government can't take do the road now. The road come better somehow. Ah, and in fact, I say boza three times for God's will of both of Babio. The man too much. I wanna see now. The man okay. Now, you know the I don't okay. The only thing that I can say about the road is that. Government are really tried their best because before, before it was not like this. To even walk past here was a problem. But government have really done a great job. So the road is okay. We can walk the way we like, no problem. I can say that God should like have you, have give us good road and give us water and give us good things. So I'm very happy. I like the road because I ride and I felt good. No gallops and no potholes like that. So I'd like to thank the governor for what he has done for this street. Destiny International Incorporated Road is looking beautiful with its new nylon tower. Along this road which is off B line is the church of Khan Chairman Akwaibum Chapter Archbishop Cletus Basse. Some members react to the new development. For now, let me start by congratulating, um, as in giving goodness to our governor, the uncommon transformer, transformer it, uh, himself. He has tried a lot. You know, this church, Destiny International, is just, he is giving this church the new face now, making it really Destiny International, because you can't expect the kind of road we had before. It was, it was boring to come here, water everywhere. Some people's houses has been, water has been entering people's house. So what we have now? It is very, very, it's, it is very, 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 very interesting. I like what I see now. Otsongoma residential area is not left out, as the area has received a complete facelift with the construction of many roads which were recently commissioned. Importantly, the roads come with spores and drains. To the undiscerning mind, this may mean nothing. But when weighed against the backdrop of floods displacing hundreds of persons in the heart of the rainy season, the importance of drains cannot be wished away. The story of access roads development in Shelter Afrique is also unique and impressive. Everest Drive within the presence of Shelter Afrique is developing fast. It is a long winding road reaching deep into the estate. E.E.J. Etam Street and J.T. Apabio Street are all wearing new looks with newly tarred roads. I, I must tell you, it has been fun for us because there are a lot of road network, especially here in South Africa now. The roads are now okay. Before it was as if it wasn't a shelter Africa, according to the name, because it was like maybe a local place of sort. That's in terms of the road. So, but for now, we are enjoying, and I, I hope more will come. As a resident of this estate, um, one of the key things we've always prayed for and always asked government to do is um, the traffic situation, because there's only been one entrance in the past. But right now, His Excellency the Governor has come to our aid and has awarded the construction 
of these roads, very quality roads in the estate right now. Excitement is in the air for residents as they express their views of this development that has given them the right of way. Well, now the whole place looks like a residence. You know, it looks like a place human beings are living because the roads are now all tired. It's now cleared and um, yeah, that's it. Yeah, I'm happy. Uh, Shetta was long, it was like, it's not a place that people will live, but now I think it's a, it's a good place for people to live now. Well, normally, as I've heard and also seen a little while ago, the place was not all that developed as it is now. But uh, today we uh, I can say I thank God for what God has used our able governor to do in the state and this environment as a whole for giving us this access way linking from one route to the other. In the words of President Jonathan, what I have seen here today are not just projects, but quality projects. This governor does not play politics with projects. The government of Akwaibom State is focused. One thing again that I will note is that the projects I have seen are not just projects, but of very high quality. The governor is not playing politics with projects, but it's so clearly that he's committed to changing things. The very wise word of Mr. President sums up the feelings of Akwaibom people and Nigerians in general to the good work Governor Akpabio is doing to deliver the dividends of democracy to his people. Despite the fact that the governor is preparing to wind down his administration, he has shown no signs of slowing down on serving his people. In fact, his body language suggests he is preparing to wind up stronger than he began. The people call it Uncommon Transformation. Uncommon Transformation television series brings to you the latest information of the monumental achievements of the Governor Akpabio-led administration. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter and YouTube to read the latest news, watch amazing videos and listen to in-depth analyses and interviews with the men and women working hand-in-hand -hand with stakeholders to make a Kwaibum state better. You can also log on to our website www.uncommontransformation.tv for more information. On Common Transformation Television Series, bringing to you the right and current information when you need it. Welcome to the Uncommon Transformation Television Series.